I've never been here before with the guy that is going on between us. Hey guys, what is up? So it's currently 1.18 and it is Saturday and we are downtown Vancouver. We just got here. We're just parking because my dad works down here. So we're just gonna park at his work. So then we get a parking spot because parking down here, first of all, so hard to find, especially on a Saturday. Second of all, is expensive. So we're lucky to have that. And we're just gonna shop around. I told them, I told Julia not to let me spend. Am I going the right way? Oh. 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 Driving downtown stresses me out so much because the city is so busy. I and it's like the pedestrians, the cars, the one ways, everything, it just stresses me out. Like, Brittany, thank you for driving. I'm a very good driver. I just, I thought that it was, no, I didn't know Brittany, that was a That's still up for debate. Brittany, I've done Nobody that. stopped me. Did anybody stop me? Well, I'm not driving. Well, are you, you're in the front seat watching. Brittany, I've done that before too, probably a thousand times. <laughs> I've, <laughs> Brittany, oh, I've went the wrong way on a one Turn way right. before. <laughs> Julia has passed like five red lights before. <laughs> like in a row, in a row. Like not even just like one every, like no, in a row. We've all had our experiences driving downtown. So it's fine. If someone did that, I would never get mad. I'd be like, oh, you know what? I'm here for you. Like, it's fine. Like, I'll move out of your way. You can turn around. Like, I would never, ever judge anybody for that. But anyway, so we haven't eaten yet. And it's 1 o'clock. And none of us have eaten yet except Brittany and Joel. I had egg I, What did I eat? Oh, Joel didn't eat yet. How about you got something at Tim's? I had a well, Brittany had a bit to eat. Joel, Just me and Joel snack. and Julia had nothing. So we want to find a place to eat. But we want to go to, like, a cute place well, and we're downtown so there should be a lot but we just have to we just need to find that. something and we don't know any of them because we don't really come down here often and it literally took us so long to get i'm like pointing with my with like a <laughs> point with my it took us so long to get here because there was so much traffic and i'm pretty sure there's an accident or something must have happened because it was, took us forever to get here that's what we're doing today do Less busy as Starbucks I've ever been to because usually when you go to Starbucks downtown, it could be like fine. It's, it's like it's so popular. But this one has like no line, it was like empty. And it's so nice in here. Aritzia is literally a doghouse right now, like everyone is everywhere and it's so hard to be in here because as you guys know like I'm obsessed and it's just like I'm trying to stay away because everything is like over $50 so it's really painful but it's uh, my wallet is happy. I love and hate this place at the same time. But right now it's literally a shit show, like everyone is everywhere, things are everywhere, everything is so freaking cute. When he's on FaceTime. currently in indigo chapters i don't know if this chapters and indigo is the same thing but that's where we're in and julia has been getting me into like a whole bunch of fiction books i'm gonna be getting my recommendations from her because she's been really into reading Maybe, like she got into it first but i was into um like non-fiction books like i was just reading like self-help books kind of thing and then she started saying how good these fiction books were so then i just started reading like one of the series she suggested and i talked about it in another vlog but i've read like 15 books, 15 books. i think i'm almost finished my 16th i told her that we should start a book club um, i feel like i read too fast to keep up with me because <laughs> she she can read out work like it's because yeah. one of her jobs like she works at like a hair salon so she's like has a lot of downtime because she's just like a receptionist so she can like read when she's like not doing anything so she like zooms through books and also she reads on her phone like i can't read on my phone yeah well i'd rather have a book but yeah. it's like when i'm at work it's easier to read off my phone yeah like since i'm on the computer all day and stuff um yeah, I, I just can't read on read from a book i mean read from the phone like i 
need a physical book copy. Get a bookmark, get a bookmark. I know, I, I don't have a bookmark. Really? Colleen Hoover is currently really good. Let's look at how cute this freaking fall mug is. I am obsessed. Should I get matching? Yes, yeah, someone got there so cute. Can I get a mama yes. bear one? Oh my god, get, oh, get a mama. mama. So we just finished shopping, we're walking back. It's like six, six o'clock. So we were here for like, we've been here for like five hours. And honestly, shopping is very exhausting. Like all the stores are on different streets and then we parked somewhere else. So it's like a lot of walking. And it's just like, you're, I guess you're standing for that amount of time. So it could get exhausting and just like so many people, really exhausting. And after I shop, I just feel like doing nothing because I get like lazy. Hey guys, what's up? So it's like another day from when I got back from Vancouver But we are going thrifting today and I know I literally went thrifting in just a couple vlogs ago or like two vlogs ago But there's this place that I got told about it's half an hour away and they're doing a 50% off So I'm like I have to go and apparently it's like a really good thrift store So I'm like I have to go check that out because how can you pass up an opportunity like that and thrifting is like an experience It's not just like you're going shopping. Like I don't even consider thrifting going shopping Technically it is going shopping, but it's more of an adventure to me like I get to explore and find cool pieces like that's what I love about it like this jacket is thrifted and like you wouldn't just find this jacket like it's like a race car jacket it's Joel's but um you wouldn't just find it like off the shelf on a regular store you know what I mean so it's kind of like cool it's better for the environment and um yeah I just love thrifting so much so that's why we're doing it again because I didn't have like enough footage for the Vancouver vlog just to, to make like a whole vlog about it because I didn't like there wasn't enough content. This is still like a Vancouver vlog, but mixed with this thrifting portion. We just got gas. It's half an hour away. We're just leaving now, and I'm honestly really excited because I love I love when people like come up to me and they're like, "Oh, this thrift store is so good. You got to go to it." Because it's honestly hard to find like good ones yourself. Like there's Value Village, and like that's the only really one around here that I know of, and like one other one. But it's cool when people like refer you to good thrift stores, and it's perfect because they are having 50% off today. So I can't wait, and I still have to give you guys like the haul of the stuff that I got from vancouver um so i'll do that all in one go tonight when i get like if i buy anything from the thrift store i'll just give you guys like a massive haul so yeah that's what we're doing today oh shit my phone fell but it's kind of a gloomy day today but i kind of like it to be honest because i'm just tired today and chill so okay. i don't mind honestly let's go so we just got here and we are just like going pee because um, we gotta go. Joel really has to piss. I really have to piss. And Joel also wants to get um, a coffee from Tim Hortons. And Tim Hortons is literally like right across from here. So we're like, let's go pee, get a coffee, and then we'll go in. I can't believe it's 50% off. Like I'm so excited. I've never been here before, but Joel said he's heard of it. That is in like the States or something. It's called Play Doh's Closet. I think there's only like one around here. So can't wait. I already found so many things. It's cheap. <laughs> it's like I can't wait to give you guys this haul. What'd you find? Too many things, you guys. This place is like heaven to me, like thrifting heaven. I cannot wait to give you guys a haul. So I'm home from thrifting, obviously. It's like later at night and I was just like doing other things during the day. Um, but I got a lot of shit and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm just in my downstairs bathroom right now to give you guys a different change of scenery because I feel like doing like the same video in the same place, or sorry, doing videos in the same place is like boring. So I just wanna switch the scenery up. We got a lot, like we got a lot. Um, I'm debating if I want to do a try on home. Probably should for you guys. I like, probably should. Also, I thought that everything was like 50% off, but it turns out only like the tags, like the clearance tags were like 50% off. And I even called before I went and I'm like, hey, I heard that everything is 50% off. 
today is that true and they're like yeah it's true and then once i got to the till it's like everything's 50 percent off right she's like no only like the clearance tags and i'm like are you kidding me like i had i like doubled this stuff like i had to cut my stuff down because i thought it was going to be half the price so i just like cut down it's fine anyways so here's the first thing that i got this is just like a disney shirt as you can see and i think that it's so just cute the neckline is really nice on it because like sometimes when i thrift i find that the necklines get like really droopy and like i just whenever there's a good neckline i appreciate it this one is really nice and just like an oversized comfy t-shirt just to wear around the house or literally just for comfiness whenever i want even as a pajama shirt it would be cute that's the back back says something i don't even know what it says okay next all right so the next thing that i got is just this plain white turtleneck because i feel like i might have a white turtleneck but it's not really like it's getting old and raggedy so you can never have enough white turtlenecks for the fall slash like winter time i feel like i just always reach for a white turtleneck it's just a basic it goes under anything style it with anything next i got these really big baggy pink sweatpants and you might be like michaela those are huge yes i know they're huge you can't really see them but like I thrive wearing huge sweatpants at home. Like that's it's like my comfy zone. Like I put on a good pair of comfy ass sweatpants, big oversized, and I'm just like feeling like I'm in bed, but I'm not. So that's literally what I love wearing during like a winter cold season when I'm just sitting at home and I just want to feel cozy. So I just really love the color of these and they're just like baggy, cute, and pink. So I'm like, how can I pass these up? And I got this jacket and it's adorable. Like it's like a leatherish leather jacket like this would be so cute with like a hoodie underneath or like layering with something you know because fall you layer and i've been looking for like one well, like this for a long time and i was like holy shit like that this thrift store like the best thrift store i've ever been to this is super dope this is the next thing that i got it's just this green turtleneckish mock neck type of shirt just you know for the fall i really just like the color of this green and again this can go with a lot of things layer on top of it a nice jacket on top okay so this is the next thing that i got and i don't know if you can tell but it's a dress like a turtleneck dress um so if you can see in this mirror which is kind of hard because i'm really short basically this turtleneck dress and i feel like i can style this like a whole bunch of ways it's just cute oversized and super comfortable like i'm just imagining wearing this with like a whole bunch of like layered jewelry here um a cute purse with some booties this would be a look and so i got this purse as well and this is just like the most fall purse i've ever seen and it's in such good condition and it's just like such a look like it's so sleek and it's just kind of different and i was just picturing me like bringing my laptop in this because it's like perfect size for that so i don't know this just like i feel like i can make some cute like looks with this bag and i also got this pink bag it's like a wrap around and it is so cute like this bag is literally like it's from zara and it looks like a puffer like it's a literal puffer bag and it's pink like it is literally the cutest thing ever i've been wanting like some new purses and i've been really into like usually like shoulder purses but i just really liked how this one was like a strap on and it kind of gives like a different look too so i feel like i can make some cute looks with this and i just love how it's like a puffer material and like the inside is like i don't know it's just really different and cute so the next thing that i got is just this like black plain tank top and this was like just really cheap and it's really like in good condition that's brand new great quality you can never go wrong it's just like a basic simple tank top and then i also got this blazer okay and hear me out so here it is and I'm thinking of wearing this, like imagine a cute like mini skirt with like a turtleneck or something, like a white turtleneck and then this over top with some booties. Like how cute would that be? I just think that this is so cute. Like the checkered blue pattern, so cute. Like I'm obsessed with this. Okay, so here's the next thing that I got. Sorry, my bra. Like I just have a sports bra on and I took the straps in so it looks weird. It's just this dress. Um, I feel like I can use it just like, I don't know if i ever have like a, a like a fallish event to go to it's just i'm really digging the one shoulder and it's just a neutral color so it can go with anything and yeah i don't really have a one shoulder dress like this so that's what caught my eye about it is i'll just like like i don't own anything like this so there's always a situation where i need a dress and then i can't find anything so so yeah from the thrift store that's all that i got and i still need to show you guys what i got from vancouver even though i got so much stuff this was like under a hundred dollars like it was really good pricing that's why i love thrifting so i'm I'm just gonna like throw everything in the wash right now and i'm gonna go upstairs and show you guys what i got from vancouver because i haven't done that yet 
All right, it changes scenery once again. We're in Madison's room, my little sister. Um, so the first thing that I got downtown, so I got this green crop shirt from H&M and it was literally $5. It's perfect, it's so comfortable and it's just nice to have like shirts like this. This is the exact same one, but I got this in a gray. And then from H&M, I also got these like really just like comfortable, they're long, wide leg, um, kind of like sweatpants type of vibe. So this is like the recycled line, um, so it's better for the environment and these are just really cute and comfortable like, to wear every single day. I just love comfy clothing. And then the last thing that I got from downtown is this pink crew neck and I'm obsessed with this color. I'm obsessed with crew necks and hoodies. So if I could, I would literally own a million of them because I can't get enough. Like I just like my dream closet, honestly, is just to have like a whole bunch of matching sweatsuits. That's all I want in life. No, I'm joking, but like, but like low key, like I actually do really want that. Okay, so I feel like this video was like a lot of shopping, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways because the half of this video feels like just like a haul and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed that because I honestly love fashion and like I'm really sad that the summer is like technically over now. Like I'm really sad about it because like summer's my favorite season. But with that being said, I also really do love fall fashion, so I'm really excited to get into it, style some cute looks. Yeah, so I really do love fashion and. Summer isn't like the best fashion season, I wouldn't say, because there's no layering going on. Like, it's just kind of basic. Like, that in like fall and winter seasons to look forward to, but it's just, yeah, you just like, always have to find the bright side. But, anyways, I just wanted to end this off with a moment with Michaela, and I basically just wanted to say that, like, right now in our world, as you guys know, this huge thing going on, um, I don't even want to say the word because it's all people talk about nowadays, and I want my channel to be more of an outlet where you guys can come to for like a break and for motivation or whatever you guys come and watch my videos for whether it just be solely for entertainment I want you guys to feel at peace here and kind of away from the rest of the world what I'm getting at is there's a lot going on right now and there's a lot of divide happening it's honestly really really sad to see and witness firsthand the like the divide that is going on between us as humans and it's almost like we're turning ourselves against each other and that is the last thing that we should be doing despite our differences we should all be coming together and making peace everybody is different everybody is unique no one thinks the same we all have differences we all think a different way for a different reason because of our life experiences and what we've been taught and that's why it's so important to respect other people's opinions and to not judge them based on their opinions their values or their beliefs about something and to really at the end of the day um, accept everybody for who they are and all come together instead of going against each other nowadays i refuse to watch the news because all the news shows is bad things it shows missing people amount of cases per day that scares you fires going on everything bad is on the news like everything scary is on the news um that's why i refuse to watch the news because i don't want to wake up with that every day i don't want to ever watch that because that puts fear into you and i don't want to absorb that any of that fear yes i'm not delirious to the problems going on in our world obviously there's lots of corrupt things going on and just lots of problems and etc but it's so important to realize that there is more good things than bad things happening in the world and the reason why the bad things are on the news is because that's news that's out of the ordinary it's different meaning that like there's only bad things on the news because bad things don't happen that often if that makes sense so that's why they're broadcasted on the news and all these good things that are happening every day you may not even notice because it's quite normal, like just something as small as somebody holding the door open for you walking into a store. Little things like that, it's like that we don't maybe even notice, those are good things happening in the world. The thing is, is that the news doesn't tell you these good things, you don't hear these good things, you have to notice these good things happening and kind of realize them for yourselves. And that's why every day, try and point the good things out instead of pointing the bad things out and focus on the good things and don't fill yourself up with fear because that fear is just gonna keep growing and growing and growing until it spirals out of control so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that even if you feel sad in the times that we're 
in if you feel stressed out about it anxious about it just know that um there are still so many good beautiful things happening in the world that are not broadcasted on the news for you to see that you have to search for other places or just notice in your day-to-day -day life and i'm sure you can i think there's websites that you can search up like good news that happened today and i'm sure there's like apps or websites that you can like look at the good news so i'd encourage you guys to do that instead of if you guys watch like if you guys are always paying attention to the bad things that are happening because that can really take a toll on you i feel like and fill you with fear but yeah just i just wanted to reassure you guys that everything is going to be okay and the world is not a bad place there are horrible things that happen in the world but it's, there are also beautiful things that happen and beautiful people but yeah that's why it's just so important that we all come together and love each other despite our differences i think that is just so important in living a peaceful life on this planet because we're all stuck on a planet together like if you think about it that way it's like we're floating in the universe in the middle of space and we're all stuck together basically on this planet yeah next time if somebody has a different opinion than you i challenge you just to respect it and um hopefully they respect yours as well because i feel like that's just very important spread peace spread positivity and spread love because in the end that's what's gonna bring everything back together yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about today and i'm getting really tired i still have to catch up on my sleep so i'm gonna go to bed <sighs> oh my god i'm so tired but anyways thank you guys so much for just listening to that rant i was gonna say if you guys are still here but obviously if you're watching this right now you're still here so thank you like i really appreciate you guys listening to me i'm gonna go to bed and i hope you guys have an amazing day evening night whatever it is and spread love spread positivity there's good things happening out there don't forget that see you in my next video oh oh my god you guys were sitting on this kleenex box and when i picked up the camera i literally pulled the kleenex out i was